Hola Aries Sun, Gemini Moons, welcome to your 2025 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, otherwise, oh no, when you see this, you're meant to view it. Also, it doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings in my playlist. See if it rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. Pull the main cards for the first half of the year. Take a quick look. Second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I'll have the second half of the year in addition to clarifiers for all cards and a card of advice. Aries Sun, Gemini Moons, you have boundless energy and are always on the move. Open to new ideas, an excellent problem solver, and a charming communicator. There's no door that won't open for you when it comes to opportunities. You're expressive and demonstrative, which enables you to keep people engaged. You don't always keep your uh, impulsivity in check, but have a knack for getting yourself out of hot water with your quick thinking. In love, flexibility is the name of the game. Any partner that is too rigid and planned will bore you to tears. You need a partner that wakes up ready for whatever adventure comes your way. You will end a relationship swiftly if the sparks stop flying. You typically don't like to get into the feels and feel awkward if your mate gets overly emotional. You are fine to share ideas and conversation, but deep emotions are off the table. When it comes to work, you are communicative and persuasive. You might excel in careers as a venture capitalist, journalist, sales consultant, translator, or a diplomat. Selling is your strong point. You could convince anyone into buying anything because of your charm, high energy, and drive. It's hard for people to tell you no. You also may find yourself in positions of leadership because people have such strong faith in you. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight? For Aries, Sun, Gemini, Moons, for the year 2025 what do you see what do they need to know to reach your higher ground become closer to universe and closer to divine january and february we have the lover's card in the reverse which is the card of gemini your moon yeah, in my playlist i mean sorry <laughs> look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe and donate or refer me to a friend it would be greatly appreciated March and April, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. And then what do we have for, what do we have for May and June? Back on your feet. All right, so January, oh, also, I already said that. Never mind. I'm out of my mind half the time. Okay. <laughs> so the lovers, I, I am right now anyway. It's too much tea, too much green tea, it happens. Lovers card in the upright. January and February. To me, the feeling, the sense that I'm getting, well, it's pretty obvious for those of you that know Darrow. Obviously, you have you have a romantic connection, a personal connection, a partnership with somebody, and it has gone awry. Um, the lover's card in the reverse is when there's arguments, the love has gone corrupt, or the relationship or the partnership has gone corrupt, and it's just kind of spiraling down downward, and there's really no way to kind of fix it, to be honest. Um, the lover's card in reverse also can be a situation where maybe you got into something out of the desire um, or, you know, greed or ego or for whatever reason. And then you're immediate and you're having regrets saying, oh, I really shouldn't have done this. This is not working out. This is not my highest good to be in this connection. So um, this typically is a relationship that is coming to an end uh, with a lot of conflict going on within it because harmony is no longer there. Good thing is you bounce right out of it in March and April. You pretty much are on your way to recover it. You're saying to yourself, well, that really sucks as that happens, but I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to be absorbed in it and it's not going to hold up my life. So you are during and so you get over it pretty quickly. Doesn't surprise me though, because you're very fast moving energy. So that is to be ex accepted. I mean, expected, but I feel that you've accepted what happened. You're fine with it. You realize there's the only thing you can do is move on. I mean, you can't go backwards because there's nothing to really fix there. And you're more interested in um, finding your calm, finding your peace, um, feeling like your old self again and getting your spirit back. And that you absolutely do because in May and June, I see you stepping into your old skin as the Queen of Wands and the upright, very vivacious, very determined, very inspiring, very courageous, very charming, very passionate, very romantic. What else? Very, um, uh, 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 oh, likes to, um, you know, 
run into adversity, jump into challenges and get things done. So that's 100% you going on there and being back to your old self. So it's good to see that you bounce back pretty, pretty well. Let's see what the second year uh, has to bring for you in your Vimeo reading. So make sure you click on the Vimeo link below to get to it. Also check out your 2024 sun and moon readings. They're still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. And if it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend. Anything in support of my efforts would be greatly appreciated. I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Aries, Sun, Gemini, Moons. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.